Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Time to discuss further into ellipses and now go over example one of this uh, example series. Basically, I'm going to solve this example which states sketch the graph of the function below and locate the foci or the focus points of an ellipse. If you want to learn more about this, make sure to watch my earlier videos on ellipses. Basically, this is a function here 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 1. 44. And now this is not in a standard ellipse form, and, and but we should write it this in terms of the standard ellipse form, which is basically x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 2, 1. So to get it like this, first thing we're going to do is divide everything by 144. So we put this down here, so 9 divided by 144, and we do this so we get the 1 on the, on the right side. Now we'll have 9 over 144x squared plus 16 over 144 y squared equals 2, 1. So 144 divided by itself is just 1. And now what we could do right here is first uh, divide 9 divided by uh, 144. And uh, you could use a calculator or you could do it in your head. Or I'll just use long division to do it by hand. Basically 9 goes into 14 once. 1 times 9 is 9, and then 14 minus 9 is going to be uh, 5, and now we could put this 4 down. So 9 goes into 54 6 times. So 6 times 9, that's just 54, subtract, remainder 0. So basically 9 goes into 144 16 times, which is convenient because we have a 16 right here as well. So then this equation becomes... This is going to be, well, x squared over uh, 16, as 9 goes into it, uh, into 144, 16 times, plus, now we have a y squared divided by 9, because this is 16, that just goes into it uh, 9 times, equals to 1, and now further, we have to uh, make these as squares, so this is equal to uh, 4 squared, and this is going to be, well, y squared divided by 3 squared, which equals to 1. So now that it's in standard ellipse form, we could get our uh, variable. In this case, we had that a squared, or a is going to be actually just here, a equals 4, and our b is equal to 3 right here. Yeah, so now that we have the a and b values, we can get the foci, which is basically the c values, and c squared is equal to uh, a squared minus b squared, and this equals to, well, this is just going to be 16 minus 9, which equals to 7. So then c is equal to square root of 7. Um, we're, it's, it's plus or minus, but the thing is uh, c is greater than 0, so we have to just deal with the plus side only. So we have c is equal to square root of 7. And this c is greater than 0 comes from my, our definition of uh, ellipse, and you just make sure to get back to it if, and yeah and watch in my earlier video so now that we have c that's our focus or the foci points and and in fact foci is plural so this is at plus or minus c so now we could basically draw the ellipse so now that if we uh, yeah, draw it right here here's an ellipse and now in our case our c is plus uh, square root of seven or is this square root of seven so basically this will <clears throat> consider this as square root of seven this is at square root of 7 and 0, and then this is at negative square root of 7 and 0, and these are our foci points. And now at this side here is the, um, is the vertice, the right vertice of an ellipse, which is just going to be, well, a of 0, which is 4, 0. So this is equal to, well, that's just a. And now at this point here is at negative a, which is negative 4 and 0. And then the top, this is equal to, well, 0, and this is our b, which is 3, and again, that's just b. And then the bottom right here is going to be uh, 0 and negative 3. Yeah, and this is basically the uh, equation, I mean, this is the graph of that equation, uh, x squared over uh, 4 squared plus y squared over 3 squared equals to 1. So that is the graph of it, and these are the foci points right here. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. I'll go over in another example 
on ellipsis so stay tuned for that and uh, anyways like always you can download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution